Oh, what's going on guys, Gamer Dude back once again to bring you some more informative gaming news. So today, as you can see from the title, we're going to be talking about Haido Kojima's next project. But first things first, before we begin, if you could all please be so kind as to smash that like button. And if you are new to the channel, please drop me a subscribe because it would just be your good deed of the day. Same applies if you are a returning viewer. So then, on with it. Hiro Kojima is working on a brand new horror game codenamed Overdose. Now this is interesting because Death Stranding was absolutely beautiful. It was, okay, it was a glorified fetch quest, but the story was absolutely beautiful and extremely well tailored. So in this video, we're going to be diving deep into what we know so far about this project and where it will sit in the Hydro Kojima game universe, whether it's connected to Death Stranding or not, or whether it's just a separate game entirely. Now then, so of course, as I mentioned, we're all kind of desperate to know what Hydro Kojima is working on next. After all, Kojima has brought us the likes of Metal Gear Solid and Death Stranding, which both sit amongst the greatest video games of all time, uh, except Marvel Spider-Man. But you know, that, that's just a personal preference. <laughs> but yeah, um, with rumors circular in that Norman Reedus has been called back to do mocap for a second Death Stranding game, one can only hope that Hideo Kojima has plenty more games in the works. But yeah, moving on. So as of a few weeks ago, we thought we knew what Kojima Productions were cooking up after Death Stranding's, as, as I mentioned, lead actor Norman Reedus accidentally leaked that production had begun on Death Stranding 2. The latest leak, though, appears to suggest that Kojima is actually working on a brand new game. So, prominent industry leaker Tom Henderson took to tryhard guides to announce that he'd been sent early footage of Kojima's next title, which, as you can tell from the title, is codenamed Overdose. Now, whether or not this title has anything to do with um, mental health issues, self-harm, or anything like that, I don't know as of yet, but uh, we are going to be diving into what I know from what I could dig up and from what leaked sources have indeed come out with. But yeah, uh, the, the clip for Overdose supposedly stars Margaret Qualley, who portrayed Mama in the Death Stranding game. According to Henderson, it will be a third person sequence uh, style game and the footage showed Qualley's character in a blue dress walking down a dark corridor with some kind of torch in her hand. Now, the clip culminated in a jump scare, which was followed by a game over screen. So that's, that's kind of very arcadey, is that? So a few seconds later, the words, a Hydro Kojima game overdose then appeared on screen. Now, despite the clip being in third person, Henderson claims that uh, first person was also an option within the game. See, now I like that because if you are an avid fan of my videos, you know I am not a huge fan of first person games. In fact, I, ca I kind of tend to avoid them, especially ones that allow for character customization when you can't physically see the customization of the character. So as well as that, in certain first person games, it will put you in third person. And it's like, well, why can't you just have that option to do it in both, like play it in first or third person? So I do like that. I do like that Hideo Kojima has put that option in the game for those players that prefer first person games. Now I'm not completely writing them off. You know, there's a couple of first person games that I do love for Time Splitters, for example, was brilliant. I love that. Anyway, moving on, before I turn this into a debate about first-person games. 
Uh, Henderson didn't confirm his source, but he did later take to Twitter to announce that Cosima Productions were attempting to take the post down. So that 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 kind of tells me it does have some truth to it. If uh, Kojima Studios want it taken down, it's, it usually happens a lot when it comes to uh, leaks and things that are actually true. So Henderson wrote in a now deleted tweet that, thanks to Reddit, I've managed to pull up, pull off uh, from Cybernetic Oblivion. Kojima Productions has since reached out after the publication of this article via email to ask for its removal, I have denied the request. Of course, since it was deleted, I guess his uh, request didn't go on deaf ears because it was taken down anyway. So the the article is currently unavailable at the time of writing, uh, at the time of making this video. But Henderson claims it should be back up uh, at some point later on his Twitter feed once he's added a very small update reflecting Kojima Productions' attempts to take down the piece. Henderson did later tweet after this, and I quote here, the report is temporarily down as I've added a small update. I do realise that my I have denied the request came across very arrogantly and I want to make it clear that the comment did not reflect the tone of the conversation I had with Kojima. The contact over there was very understanding and very considerate, all things considered. So, okay, okay, it seems like Kojima Productions are somewhat considerate over it. Uh, but um, typically, I'd like to, I'd like to take all rumours with a grain of salt. But given the fact that Kojima Productions are so concerned about this piece and went out of their way to delete it, it definitely adds to its credibility. Iro Kojima has been wanting to make a horror title for quite some time, particularly after his involvement in Silent Hill. And, you know, we all know what happened to that. It fell through. But, you know... I don't, I don't know how to feel about that because in some ways you could see Death Stranding as a sort of horror style game. I mean, you've got this this creepy weird baby in a jar on your chest. That in of itself is creepy as fuck. You've got these um, weird interdimensional spirits that will manifest and kill you at the first chance they get. You can turn your own blood into bullets like WTF to that and there's as you can see on screen there's weird floaty things in the sky and dead many many dead fish as well so that yeah that, that there's that too <laughs> but um it's maybe we'll get to hear what's next from the horse's mouth and not uh, from a Twitter tweeter. But who, who knows? Who knows? But um, I'd, like to, I'd like to think there's more to this. You know, because we, we all suspect that something else is coming from Cosima. Uh, because um, after months of rumours, Cosima's next title is reported to be an Xbox exclusive. Which is unfortunate. And this is going to be a shorter video than usual because details are just a little thin on the ground at the moment. You know, we just know that it's definitely happening. You know, Kojima has indeed teased that he's working on a never before, never before seen concept. And it is based around the originality of Death Stranding. But I'm completely sure he is cooking up something weird and wonderful because that is exactly how I would describe Death Stranding weird and wonderful and don't forget uh, I mentioned uh, his Silent Hill project fell through Norman Reedus was going to star in that as well 
So it appears Haido Kojima and Norman Reedus have a... They've got a pretty strong relationship. You know, I, I, I don't know how they know each other. That's just completely off to me. You know, it's out of my league. But still, it appears that they seem to have a standing ground with each other. You know, they seem to know each other well. But uh, I, I think it'll certainly be disappointing to some Kojima fans after the visionary title that was Death Stranding. You know, given the fact that that was actually a PlayStation exclusive until it went to PC. Thank you very much, Sony. But yeah, that, that being said, as I mentioned earlier, Norman Reedus did accidentally let slip that Death Stranding 2 was in development. And, you know, we, we can obviously imagine that since the first one was an exclusive, uh, this one, well, the next one, would also be a PlayStation exclusive. So, yeah, I guess let let Xbox have their thunder. You know, if, um, if this overdose project is similar to Death Stranding, you know, let, let Xbox have their day. And, you know, I, I, th I think that's, I think that's the best, best we can hope for at this moment. That's, uh, that's literally all I could dig up on it. I mean, it, the, the article itself is half a page. Most of it is just from quotes from that, from that tweet that I mentioned earlier in the video. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video then. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Uh, once again, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you smash that like button and drop me a subscribe. I always sub back to new subscribers and I do try to view any content you may be producing. Uh, so uh, stay tuned this week because on Sunday we will be continuing our Telltale Game series with The Walking Dead Michonne, which will be very interesting for me because I have never actually played it. Uh, also, hopefully, when the new PlayStation Plus comes in and they start putting on PlayStation 1, 2, and 3 games, I can start doing a retro day. I'm thinking of either Throwback Friday or Retro Wednesday. I kind of like I kind of like the sound of ret Retro Wednesday, or or I might even do both. Who knows? It depends which games they put on there and which ones I feel like I would be okay at playing. You know, if to put Time Splitters on there, I'm definitely playing that. You'll definitely get videos of Time Splitters. That's that's all you'll get. You'll just get Time Splitters every day of the week. I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that that's it for the video. Uh, again, thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Uh, this has been GamerDude, happy gaming, and I will catch you all in the next one, guys.